And I will simply ask, does everyone see the screen? You can give me a thumbs up if you're able to see the screen. Outstanding. And so now at this point, let us enter into silence to, to center ourselves, um, aware of God's presence uh, in our midst, even in this time when we are feeling such enormous uh, uncertainty uh, and fear, we always know we have with full confidence the presence of our God. O oh Lord, open our lips, and, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. We come before your presence, you who are common to us all. Holy One, you have brought us through this day to a time of reflection. Make us wise in our understanding, open in our listening, generous in our giving and vulnerable in our sharing you, you who have mercy on those who fear you in every generation my soul proclaims the greatness of god my spirit rejoices in god my savior for you have looked with favor on your lowly servant from this day all generations will call me blessed for you the almighty have done great things for me and holy is your name you have shown the strength of your arm you have scattered the proud in their conceit you have cast down the mighty from their thrones and have lifted up the lowly you have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty you have come to the help of your servant israel for you have remembered your promise of mercy. The promise you made to Abraham and to Sarah and their seed forever. You, you have, have mercy, mercy on those who fear you in every generation. And now I'll invite Ed to uh, be the reader for our gospel passage. And Ed, you'll need to unmute yourself. There should be, Ed, there should be a. I went, I was trying to do it on the picture, not on the desk okay. far beneath, so I got it. Very good. Okay. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. So the reflection uh, draws on Hebrews And it is by God's will that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Today is a day for names. In Isaiah, the promised Messiah's name is to be Emmanuel, God with us, embodying the divine promise of protection to the children of Israel. Emmanuel, a redeeming presence in the midst of disaster. In Luke, Gabriel brings a message to Mary. She will bear a son and call him Jesus, the Son of the Most High, the Son of God. This Son of God and Son of Man will bring in a kingdom with no end. The beloved letter to the Hebrews uses Christ as Jesus' main identifier emphasizing Jesus's sacrificial obedience to God's will, a charism that suffuses his entire being. Rather than through the law, sanctification has come through the Christological event, the birth, life, ministry, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We are called to sacrifice our lives in bearing this Christ into the world. That is why we, we are named Christians. When we have concluded this evening's formal part of the service, we'll also once again re-engage our microphones and I'll, I'll invite your reflections uh, on the reading and how they may have spoken to you uh, today. Let's now all join our voices in the collect for, for the, the roots, roots of our community for what we share together for the path that lies before us now and our future in your hands we give you thanks and praise god of grace and hope help us to move from fear to trust your grace surrounds and fills us. Remind, Remind us, us that you provide us all, all we need. need. Your healing love is offered to all. And we pray especially this day for Lorna, uh, Ed's niece, who is showing some symptoms and not yet uh, has she been tested. Uh, we pray as well for Neil, uh, Karen's uh, sister and uh, her, uh, concerns with with uh, her vulnerability and uh, how uh, she is proceeding to uh, to receive uh, care for all of us as we try to make sense of what is going on with the disruption of our lives and uh, our day-to-day -day circumstances we ask for for continued prayer uh, especially those who who work from home and are adapting to a stressful situation. We, we pray as well as many people did on, on Sunday uh, this last week for, for children who are also adjusting to what seems to be a, a, a whole new world of studying online or just being a kid who can't go to, to playgrounds. Uh, we know that there is a potential for widespread economic insecurity and and we pray for those who uh, are losing jobs especially for rachel in our our parish and and for for connie's brother who faces uncertainty uh with uh, with his job we pray for uh, mary's mother and and for her her partner and and especially uh any of us who are more vulnerable uh, owing to our to our age, um, we also know there are many ripple effects of uh, the circumstances of this pandemic and uh, living in a in a world in which things are are closed down. And so we we give thanks for the the cultural organizations that have fed us, and we pray that that they can be sustained and and endure after this crisis 
has passed. May we be full of peace in our waiting. And full of joy in our praise to you. And now let us say together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God, who raises us, show us compassion and love. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will do, of course, uh, announcements. Uh, and I want to highlight that on Thursday evening, we're also going to do uh, evening prayer uh, here uh, on Zoom. Uh, and then on Sunday, uh, check the parish website as we will once again do a, a, a YouTube-based uh, uh, Sunday service um, at, uh, at, at 10 o'clock. Uh, we'll, we'll proceed in just a moment with our, our experiment of, uh, of, of singing the, the hymn that we, we uh, had uh, on our uh, order of service on this last Sunday. Uh, the, the Lord is my light. And then, uh, Connie, may I once again ask you uh, to, to do a blessing for us. So we'll do the, uh, the, the blessing uh, after we've heard uh, the Lord is my light uh, um, singing. Absolutely, Terry. And if I could make one um, uh, addition to your schedule is that there's going to be service of Compline um, night prayer tomorrow night, Wednesday at eight o'clock and moving for, 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 uh, moving forth through to other Wednesdays at 8 p.m. that, uh, I will be leading. And so I invite people to, um, pull out your prayer book and, and join in. We'll also, um, have, have the, uh, online Book of Common Prayer available. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Also, if there are other folks that have this day by day, uh, we could get other volunteers to read. Yes. Besides me, <laughs> if, you, if you have it available. Are there, are there other uh, announcements for the good of the, of, of the parish and our, our wonderful community? Again, uh, we are going to go back to everyone having their microphones on in just a moment. Can we do a porch pickup of the day by day uh, outside the door of the church? <laughs> uh, did you hear the question, Connie? I did. And uh, John, can you look at yours and tell me what month it goes through? It goes through April, April. February, March, April. Okay. Mm. So you know, another I, month. I can look and see if we have any left. Um, and if we do, you know, then uh, then we can can definitely leave one outside for, for you to pick up if you'd like. Um, I just, I don't know if we do, because, let's see, so this is the second month, so we would have put it out a couple months ago, and... Uh, yeah, they go fast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you sort of put out a bunch, and then they disappear, and we put out the rest, and so, but if we have one, I'd be happy to share it. There is an online version, um, but the one that you read, John, was not the one listed for today. Right, no, we... Terry switched it up. I, I switched yeah. things up. We're going to do that on Thursday. Then, yeah, <laughs> right. but, but there is an online version, and it's at prayer.forwardmovement.org. And Michael, will just put that in the chat, so if you see that function on the bottom of your screen, you can look at the link and get the link directly as well. Excellent. I have to go to my... Um, him. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say to proceed with the hymn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Oh, wonderful. <laughs>
So as we do this, this, uh, this hymn, what I want to highlight is that we do some repeats. Notice how we do the first two lines, and then we repeat those first two lines to where it says the word repeat. And then we pick up with that next part that says, whom shall I fear, all the way down to the end. And then we go back and repeat that, whom shall I fear. Uh, so we're going to, this is not nearly as beautiful as Josh plays, but here is my computer trying to play music, and John and I will sing, and we'll have you all uh, sing uh, uh, as well. Uh, with the idea of singing, singing with your, your uh, microphone muted. Or not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> or not. D flat. Oh, it is my light. And my salvation, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light. And my salvation, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, the Lord is my light. And my salvation, whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength. forward with uh, the uh, blessing, if you would, Connie. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds and the knowledge and love of God and of Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessing of God, Almighty God, who created us, Christ Jesus, who brings us new life, the Holy Spirit, who guides and sustains us, be with you now remain with you always. Amen. 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 Amen.